everyone. My name is Brad Lewis. I'm with Premier Marketing, and I want to welcome you to today's call. Today, we have Darren Hancock with American Amicable, and he's going to take us through the final expense product with American Amicable and the underwriting and application process as well. So with that, I want to turn it over to Darren. Thanks, Darren, for being with us today and take it away. Just a few of the uh, specs uh, overview of the product. Uh, it is issue ages 50 to 85 and we go down to as low as a $2,500 minimum face amount. We have three different death benefit options the client could qualify for based upon their health history and how they answer the health questions. Uh, the immediate or day one coverage, we go up to a max of 35,000. The graded plan, we go up to a max of uh, 20K. And just so you know, that's a payout in year one of 30% of the face amount, 70% in year two, and then a full payout beginning in year three. Return of premium death benefit also maxes out at 20K. During the first couple of years, it pays back to the uh, beneficiary 10% uh, cent interest on the premiums that have been collected to that point. We have several different riders, and I'll talk about the grandchild rider in a moment because it really is a difference maker. We also offer a nursing home waiver premium that will waive their premium payments in the event they're confined to a nursing home. A standard accidental death benefit. And then two no-cost riders, uh, first being the terminal illness, which allows them to collect up to 100% of the face amount if they're diagnosed with a terminal illness. And then a confined care rider, which pays out 5% of the monthly uh, in a monthly stream to them. Uh, so if they have, let's say, a $10,000 policy, they'd be able to get a $500 monthly benefit if they're confined to a nursing home. Mentioned the grandchild rider earlier. It's term insurance that covers the grandkids through age 20, and it can be purchased in either one unit, which is 5,000 of coverage, or two units, which is 10. And certainly no one likes to think about the passing of a grandchild, but in the event that does happen, uh, those funerals are often just as expensive as an adult, and someone has to pay for those as well. So if that does happen, you've got this benefit to cover that. Probably more uh, positive benefit there is a conversion privilege that allows them to convert to an individual policy with us for up to 25,000 if they are covered under the one unit of coverage or up to 50,000 if they're covered under the two units. So even if they're diagnosed with an uninsurable condition at a very early age, they'll still have an insurance option with us through this conversion privilege, which requires absolutely no underwriting. Another benefit of this rider is it has a paid up provision that in the event of the death of the covered insured, grandkids term insurance will be paid up. No more premiums due on that. Speaking of premiums, it's a very inexpensive rider. For the one unit of coverage, that's $1 a month per grandchild, or for the two units of coverage, that's $2 a month per grandchild. And there's no limit to the number of grandchildren that can be covered under the policy. writing decision provided on the screen and one of those decisions is going to be a locked in approved as applied for decision and if it turns out to be a case where we're changing the plan let's say from our immediate coverage to our return of premium coverage we will notify you of that but what really makes us different is we will give you the details that affected that decision and we'll get into that in a little more detail later but knowing what's going on and why the decision was made is a very important tool. And providing that is where we distinguish ourselves from the other companies. And lastly, we also offer inside of our product guide, both a medication listing uh, and a medical condition listing that you can use to pre-qualify your clients. So you have some idea of what we cover and what we won't cover and what death benefit plan they should be applying for. Uh, I'm now going to go through some sample uh, underwriting decisions that you can see. Uh, the two here on this screen, the first one is the uh, approved as applied for. This is the locked in decision. Once you see that, you know you're good to go. 
There's also an approved as applied for, but the only caveat is there was a recent application that this person filled out, maybe with another agent. Uh, we want to review that application just briefly. Uh, those hardly ever change a plan, uh, but uh, once you see that, you know you're going to be good to go. The next here is a step down or a change of plan. So you are applying for our, our immediate coverage and, and the decision says it should be applying for the return of premium death benefit. So as I mentioned before, you'll know that that's happening, but the difference maker for us is we'll give you those details why. So in this case, it was because of the medication Simbacord. Now, for those of you familiar with Simbacord, it's commonly used for COPD, but it's also commonly used for asthma. And if, from talking with your client, you know that they don't take it for COPD, they're taking it for asthma. You can now challenge the outcome of that decision. Most companies will not let you do that. Once they say it's return of premium, it is locked into that. So we give you that option and it's very simple to do. There's a button on the screen that would you like to provide additional information? If you check yes to that, a box will pop up where you can type in your explanation. In this case, it would be something to the effect of client does not take Simba Court for COPD. They're taking it for their asthma. So it's a real simple process to do. But again, we tell you the reason why we made that decision. Refer to home office occurs from time to time. When you see this, this simply means that we couldn't make our decision through the automated process. The application is now going to be referred to an underwriter to make the final decision. So we will be notifying you within a day or so what the final outcome on this is once the underwriter has a chance to review it. Here's an example of a decline. So we're telling you they're not eligible, but once again, we're giving you the reason why. In their uh, prescription checks, we found the medication Aricept, you know, for Alzheimer's dementia. So uh, that gives me uh, information here, obviously, that I can use. Um, for example, uh, if I know that that's what they have, uh, I probably don't have any other option with a, with a true final expense company. So I don't even need to bother uh, submitting an application with Carrier B. I'll just go ahead and get my guaranteed issue company out of my bag and write this client with them. So again, the power of the information that we provide you that nobody else is, is giving you. Uh, in addition to providing the decisions on some of the medications, we also will do some drill down questions for you uh, for those medications that are used for a lot of different conditions. For example, here, gabapentin. So we're going to ask you basically, you know, are they taking it for neuropathy? And if you answer yes, that's going to affect the decision. If you answer no to that, maybe they're taking it for uh, migraines or restless leg. You can answer no, and now the client would be in the running for our immediate coverage. So we have the drill downs on some of the meds, plus the decisions we give you. So just kind of, you know, sum up here, you know, I've got my decision, you know, what's, what's next? Well, uh, you certainly know what our underwriting decision is. And if you're happy with what you got, maybe you got that, you know, client is approved as applied for message, you know, there's nothing else for you to do. But what if it's not for the plan applied for? You know, once again, we give you the information as far as why we did that. And, and, and you know, this slide might as well be, you know, kind of titled, you know, American Amical, a great final expense company to lead with because with that information, uh, now you can maybe use up, you know, that information to make other product decisions for this client. So at, for example, let's say um, you can tell from our responses that the client was uh, not eligible because of congestive heart failure, which, which is a decline with us. But you know you have another final expense company that will accept it as a, as a modified plan. Well, now I know exactly which company to, to, to place this person with because I know the condition. Let's say it was a decline, as I said earlier. If, it, if it's clearly someone you're not going to be able to put with a regular FE company, I know I don't even need to bother with, with Carrier B. I'll just go straight to my guaranteed issue opportunity. So it just makes your life so much easier by knowing everything up front. If you don't agree with the decision, as we were talking about earlier, you can provide those notes at point of sale. 
that comes into us. And if you do not remember to do that, I know some agents either they forget or they get in a hurry and they skip onto the next screen and, 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 and cannot put those notes in there. You can also contact us after the fact. You can call, you can email, you can send us a chat and say, I forgot to put these notes in with the application. Here's the explanation as far as why they're taking nitro. And that will be then be taken into account and given an opportunity to review that application further. So even if you get to do it at point of sale, you can still challenge the decision after the fact. So going, drilling down a little bit more on the, on the challenge option here, you know, by adding your notes there on the screen, it is requiring a human being, an underwriter to review this application further. So it, it guarantees you the review option. The underwriter is going to take a look at it and the, the information you provided is going to be reviewed along with the rest of the application information. And then they'll make their fi final decision. Now, I guess the million dollar question is, is kind of, you know, is it worth the extra time to make that challenge? Well, we, this is actually something we track very closely. Um, and actually this number is a little bit low. Uh, more recently it's gone up quite a bit, but historically, 65% of the time, when you have a case that you uh, put in those challenge notes, we will actually go with the original plan applied for, as opposed to the, the decision that you were given. So that's certainly better than any Vegas odds you're going to get. So it's certainly well worth your time to go ahead and put in those notes and give it a shot. Because like I say, more than likely, we're going to go with what you, you know, with the original plan. So very important tool there. There's also, I mentioned earlier, inside the product guide, some items you can use to help pre-qualify a client. This is an example from our medication list. We've, we've already talked about Simbacort earlier. Uh, you know, we're gonna tell you in there that if, if they're taking it for asthma, they're an immediate client. If they're taking it for COPD, more than likely they're gonna be a return of premium client. Then we also have a listing of medical conditions. So in this case, if a client has kidney failure, we, we tell you up front that they would be a return of premium client. So part of the online application process is we give you the opportunity to do a remote sale if you choose. Uh, at the end of the application process, when it comes time to sign, each time you're gonna be given a choice to do a sign on screen, which you would use if you were you know, sitting at the dinner table with your client, or email for signature, which sends them an email that they use to sign, or, or a voice signature. So you can choose these on any given application. Because maybe, for example, this one lead is three hours away, and, and you'd rather just do that with a voice signature. You have the option to do that. So just simply go to insuranceapplication.com and complete the app. And one last note on voice signature, it's not a very difficult process. Uh, you call into an 800 number that we give you. There's a one page script that you read with your client and allow them to answer certain questions. It takes about a minute and a half on average to do. So it, it's real simple. Uh, and I would encourage you if you, if you have remote sales opportunities to, to try one of these. Now, quoting. Certainly our online application will provide a quote for you, but a lot of times you're just simply wanting to get a real fast quote. You're not necessarily ready to initiate, you know, the application process. So on the same application, insuranceapplication.com, on that same website where you would go to complete our mobile app, there's an option there for our phone quoter. So you select the product you want to run a quote on and you enter some basic information it will let you run up to three different options. So, you know, some agents will use kind of a gold, silver, bronze type of approach. Uh, when it comes to running quotes, you can run all three of those here at the same time. It'll also provide you the option of viewing an illustration or, or a ledger presentation of a quote. So you can see if you want to, you know, the, how the policy builds up cash value over time. So. Use that phone quoter if you just simply want to get an idea of what that rate would be. Uh, direct access to underwriters. Um, 
you know, with some companies, uh, you know, the underwriting department might as well kind of be in a in a dungeon, locked away, because you're not going to be able to talk with them. You're not going to be able to communicate with them. You know, the decisions made are final. Uh, with us, it's it's basically an open door policy uh, to reach out to an underwriter, and you can and that's for different things. I mean, sometimes it's just simply a matter of, hey, I'm I'm not sure how you write, underwrite a particular condition. How do you treat COPD? How do you treat CHF? Um, you can certainly you know, call into us and we'll give you our recommendations. Speaking of recommendations, we offer also offer a full-on risk assessment. You can give us the actual facts that you know about your client, or maybe even as just a hypothetical situation you want to present to us. And we will give you our underwriting recommendation based upon that. You can submit those in two different ways. Uh, there's a dedicated email address, address riskassess at aatx.com or on our agent portal on americanamical.com, there's a live chat feature uh, that gives you a risk assessment option. So you submit those and you get a quick response back. So a real nice way to, uh, again, maybe pre-qualify a client or just get some general information uh, about our underwriting. And last point I'll make on this slide is uh, you can actively participate in the process, the underwriting process with us. You, we let the agent have a voice. So you can do as much or as little of this reach out as possible or that you'd like to, uh, but it certainly is an option to each and every one of you. Uh, certainly a prerequisite uh, for any final expense company is to be able to draft for premiums uh, in sync with the social security calendar, you know, when they get their social security money. Uh, during the application process, there's a question that asks, do you want this to draft along with social security? If you answer that question, yes, then the only options that we're going to present to you are the five dates, first, third, or second, third, or fourth Wednesday, uh, that they could get their social security money. So the whole point of doing all this is to draft right at the same time they're getting their money, which does a good job of helping to reduce the number of drafts returned for insufficient funds. This brings me to the end of my presentation. I wanna thank you all very much, and we certainly welcome the opportunity, opportunity to work with you. Thank you. Hey, Darren, thanks for that presentation. That was really great information. And one of the things I wanted to key in on is how easy American Amicable is to work with. Uh, they're very unique because they're one of the only carriers that we have that actually share so much on the underwriting process and give you feedback that's so valuable to you as an agent to share not only with your clients, but also to make the best sales decision for those clients as well. Uh, so you can take the information like Darren said and make sure that you provi provide the best product for that client, whether it's with American Amicable or if you know that it's gonna work with a different carrier uh, in a different position, such as guaranteed issue, you have that information up front to make the best decision that you can for your client. Thanks again for joining us today. Uh, this is Brad Lewis with Premier Marketing. Make sure you give one of your marketers a call at Premier at 800-365-8208. You can reach out to Nate, Tom, Rick, or Yanni. They'd be happy to help you get set up and sell more American Amicable final expense. Have a great day.